I got here a, I don't know, older Camry with a 2.4 liter engine. I don't know what year it is, we'll find out. Um, customer complaint is there's a check engine light on. Um, he said it, it's a cam code, it runs fine, but it still sets the code. Let me just see. Yeah, it's definitely check engine light. All right, I'm gonna be using a new schedule that is from AutoFlex. They sent this to me to review. It's actually pretty cool because it's a cheaper version of Autel. And it's made by them. This is a D1 light. It's like really, really thin. But here we go. It's a regular Autel schedule. I mean, it has exact same software. I think there's a screen recorder somewhere here. Just gotta figure out how to use this. So full disclosure, I am usually use launch-based software like TopDown or Launch, ThinkCar. So I'm not so familiar with Auto. I do have an IM608, but I really only use it for keys. I just not really, I like how the TopDown's graph. But for the price of this, it's Bluetooth. So for the price of the scan tool, I, uh, I can't, couldn't believe it. I usually say no to most people asking me to review stuff, but people always ask me for cheap scan tools that do a lot. And I was always sending people to the launch. It was like, I don't know, six, seven hundred dollars. This regular price is like four hundred dollars from Amazon. So uh, I was pretty blown away. It's full bi directional, two year updates. After that, it's only $119 a year. Now, the question is with Autel, is it going to work after when it's not up to date? That's going to be a big thing. I don't know the answer to that. I think now they say it does, but I'm not sure. So let's do auto protect. Oh, right, I forgot I went to the screen record. Because there's a huge clear on this. Doesn't look like it's going to auto detect. It is an older car, so I feel like if I go in Toyota, it will pull the VIN up. My top and something does that also on older scan tools. Snap on doesn't pull the VIN up at all. <laughs> okay, let's go here. Let's go to Toyota. All right, automatic selection, read. All right, it's a Camry, North America. I don't know what year it is. It's a 2003. I've tried it on late model cars and it pulled them in right up. So, you know, it just, this is an older car. Auto scan. I'm just gonna do a full scan. It does not have topology, which once you get used to that, it's pretty much you can't go back. But it's definitely a great starter scan tool or a great, you know, to keep in a spare. I'll probably keep it in my other car just to have on me. All right, so that's all the modules. There's three full codes that you could save a report. 91. Okay, I might have just found the issue with this car. There's an oil change sticker right here that says the next mileage due is 85, 534. And this says 91, 171. So this is way overdue for an oil change. And if there's actually codes for, let's see, crankshaft position, camshaft position correlation, bank one, um, bank one sensor one, I'm assuming it's either low on oil or the oil sludgy. So I'm gonna check, maybe this shop already gave it a, a oil change. I don't know, he didn't tell me that. So, before anything, I'm just going to go check the oil. Yeah, just need a paper towel.
Wow, the hood shuts work. That is impressive. It's actually over full. And it looks relatively clean. So I'm assuming this had oil change. They just didn't give a sticker. All right, so now let's see. We're getting cam codes. So let's just see what they have. Car starts right up. Let's hope I didn't lose everything. Diagnostics, okay, good, perfect. So now, let's go. This is just a report, fine. Could we save this? How does this work? Save as PDF. I'm just gonna make something up. See, for me, they make you put a license plate. A lot of cars I work on are from dealerships that don't have license plates, so. Make something up. All right, save that. Let's get out of here. We're gonna go back to engine. Okay. All right, so let's go to live data. I can't get over how thin this thing is. I wish it had like a, a stand in the back, but you know, when you're charging sub $400, <laughs> you can't really complain. It also is chargeable USB-C, which I love because my other Altel uses like a, a old barrel style connector, which I never have on me. So it goes dead and then I have to bring it inside and remember to charge it. And if I lose it, you know, all right, um, let's go see if there's anything for the VVT. Here you go, variable valve, let's evap. That's for the transmission. Now wait, I did find a way to search. Okay, you pull that down and there's a search button. So I can pull it in, let's say intake. Right, that's the only pit I could find. So we're gonna use that, show selected. It's just on, okay. So this doesn't have anything. It's an older car, it's not the best car to test this tool out with. I'll make more videos with it. Um, let's see, the special, no, not special functions. But once we're there, what does it have? Reset memory, okay, the same thing as now, those cantles. That is very cool. Active test is what I wanted to see. You should be able to control the VVT, and I want to see if the car will stall. All right, let's see. So it is line pressure, air fuel, fuel pump, variable valve time and control, bank one. Instantly from a minimum of one to to maximum. This test caused a rough idle engine to stall. Perfect, okay. All right, now you could grab data, so let's get a custom list. Let's see if I can find anything with VVT. What was that? We'll try to throttle. The misfire, stop lamp, cylinder four. We have enough time and control, but I think that's just the same one, it just says on or off. All right, just going back. Okay, let's push stop on. All right, so now we're gonna push on and the car sold. So it's definitely working. The VVT is definitely doing its job, it's working. So pretty much the only thing I could do to know for sure if this thing's actually out of time is to scope the cam and crank. All right, so I'm gonna do that. All right, I got all that I pulled up. I think the ECM is under the glove box on these cars. Powertrain management. Yeah, behind right side of dash. So what do we need? We need to find the cam and the crank sensor. Equal speed sensor. 
I think he did say when you drive, when you drive, it, it, it drives pretty bad, which makes sense because that's when the oil control valve is supplied. So if the tire is off, and it just, since now we're fully retarded, so the car's driving fine, it's idling fine. All right, here we go. Here's the, the crankshaft sensor. That must be, what is that? Just a junction, that must be the ground. Fine, so it's a crankshaft. Any plus, any minus. Now you just need to find the camshaft. Camshaft right here. Oh, that's just combined. It's just the same ground. Okay, good. Fine. The ground's combined, and we need um, E10. We need pin 34 and pin black and white. That's what it was. Pin 26. All right, so let's go look behind the glove box. All right, here's the glove box. I'm just going to lower it fully. Oh. Right here is the PCM. So now I don't know which one's which, but I'm just gonna find the one that starts. Let's see. Alright, E10. The last pin should be green. And the first pin should be blue. So blue, that could be the first pin right here. Is the last one green? Yeah, so it's this connector right here, the bottom connector. Alright, so we need this one right here. Black and white and green. Well, first, the snap on truck just showed up, so I gotta waste some money. A few moments later. Alright, I'm sorry. My camera was by mistakes at the time lapse, so I just missed all this, but. I have my scope hooked up. This is the cam se crank sensor on channel A, and channel B is the the cam sensor. And I started the car, I got it patterned. This is it, which I don't know if it's good or bad yet, but this is with the oil control safe plugged in. So now I'm gonna disconnect the oil control valve, start it again, and we're gonna see what happens. Then I'll try to find an own good to see if this timing chain is stretched. Uh, where is this oil control valve? Oh, it's right here. Okay. I'm just going to unplug it. There we go. Now, I know the sensor itself. I mean, the oil control valve works. So I was able to buy the actual control it. But I don't know. It might be leaking. So we might have to test it out, pull it out. But for now, I want to see. All right, let's start this. Turn on zoom. All right, I'm gonna start the car. Okay. Here we go. Just get it down to an idle. Let's try to rev it. All right, we're gonna save this with oil control unplugged. Shut the car. I'm gonna go look for a known good. I'm using um, Keith's all on automotive training uh, waveform library. Let's see if he has anything. Toyota. All right. 2003 Camry Corolla. Here, O2 Camry 2.4. Camp Crank. Download it. Okay, good. Oh, he put it in. Uh, that's a smart of him. I should have done that. I was lazy. Okay. Um, 
So let's say from here, is this idle no good notes? This doesn't tell me if it's unplugged or not. Okay, we'll check soon. But okay, we got three in a row. It's a bunch of threes, that's how it is. Is that a minus? Yeah, a bunch of threes. Okay, fine. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I think we're good here. Let's just see. So we're this one over here. One, two, three, four. We're one tooth off. Now, I don't know if that's enough. I would have to figure that out. Okay, so the way I would figure this out is, let's go see how many degrees. We know this is 720 degrees. I'm just gonna do it on mine first. Okay, so we know from ignition strike to ignition strike, it's 720 degrees. So we're gonna go rulers. Um, 720, phase rulers on. Okay, so we're gonna go from here till here. Um, actually, till there. That's 720 degrees. Sorry, from here to there, 720 degrees. So minus that off. Now, we're going to put one here. So this is where we're trying to figure out. We're trying to find out this is 93 degrees in. Okay, 90, sorry, 90, yeah, 93 degrees in. Now let's go to his. Rulers. Why is my thing beeping? Oh, it's connecting. Okay, because the car's off. Fine. Um, on 720. Put one right here. I don't know if it's going to be fully exact because he actually got a coil current. I didn't. Alright, so this. I'm in the same spot. This doesn't look right at all. Bottom of that. Eight. And we're at 93. So that's over 10. Over 10 usually sets a code. Okay, this is right when it turns off. So let me just set mine for the same way, right where it turns off. I'm already set to where it turns off, and I'm 93, okay. To me, it looks like it's a tiny chain stretch. All right, we're not gonna fix this. I mean, I doubt it. it's an old car, I'll probably just run it like this. Um, maybe I'll change the oil control valve to see, or pull it out, but I don't have time, I gotta run. But all in all, I'm extremely impressed with this tool. And yeah, I mean, for the for the money, you can't beat this. I think you said there's gonna be a, a discount code for my viewers, so I'll put that in the description. All right, thanks for watching.